Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in this video. I got something very exciting I want to show you and I think it's going to be a big time money maker. With that being said, I feel very confident, 99% confident that what I'm going to show you later in this video is amazing. It's going to do great in my opinion, but do not trade according to my opinion. Obviously, you'll have to do your own due diligence because obviously you have to have you know respect for yourself and your hard earned money, which means you should uh, decide on your own homework guys. But before I get started, if you want to join my Discord Bull Market Watch, link will be in the comment section below in the front page of my YouTube channel at the top. Uh, you know, there's all the links are all over the place. This is a great community. It's a community about getting together, helping each other out, making good trades, and also seeing what I buy and sell ahead of time live. I always pre announce what I'm going to do. These are the results so far in 2023 256 sold stocks profitable, right? 256 uh, picks were sold profitable. Only 44 open left positions and only nine for a loss. I think that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's jump over to the CEO of Mars, who said that the global trade is showing promising signs of recovery. He anticipates a gradual rebound in the shipping industry as we approach 2024 now mind you guys this is the the CEO of the largest company globally in transporting goods if he says that we anticipate a recovery approaching 2024 should we take that serious or is this guy just saying it to get people to buy his stock well actually we should take it serious because michael berry actually made a move before his comments yesterday just recently michael berry made a move before this guy commented about the move of, of the this shipping industry getting better as we approach 2024 but i'll get to all that in a little bit vincent clark points to consumers in the united states and europe that they will act as key tailwinds in the current surge in demand he says that these markets continue to defy expectations consistently surpassing forecasts so yeah and even emerging markets guys are doing really awesome even emerging markets such as the markets in africa are have shown to be very resilient and they're doing well now cnbc there's an article on cnbc and that was on september 15 2023 shipping giant mars is seeing tentative signs of a bounce back in global trade but is that enough well look at michael berry i made a video and this was my thumbnail and the thumbnail said he made one serious move and you can watch that video i still have it on my youtube channel and uh, one of the biggest moves he made was that he took a new stake. Michael Berry took a brand new stake in a company called Safe Walkers. Safe Walkers is a shipping company, transports goods with its ships around the world, iron ore, grain, steel, etc. Why would he buy over 128,000 shares of Safe Walkers? Maybe Michael Berry agrees with the CEO. Maybe Michael Berry also sees a rebound in the shipping industry going forward as we approach 2024. And I think that now is the time to get in. Back on September 13, 2023, one member asked me, "What's a I need a great company. And I told them, Safe Walkers, only at 299 or lower. At September 13, when I left that comment, Safe Walkers was at 299. And you could have gotten it at 299 or lower. Where is Safe focus today it's at 325 right now as we are going forward and approaching 2024 in a few months i think safe pokers going forward and into 2024 should hit four to five bucks obviously though like i said don't trade according to my opinion one of the safest ways i guess that someone can look into the shipping industry if they want to get their feet in but you know they're not sure how the shipping industry works or they just want to check out you know what's good shipping stocks what's going on i'm going to give you three etfs guys etf number one sonic shares global shipping etf take a symbol boat both the underlying selective global shipping index consists of global shipping companies engaged in the maritime transportation of goods and raw materials including consumer industrial products vehicles dry bulk crude oil and so on interesting i need to check out if safe brokers is on this etf i did not check that out before making this video Number two, Breakwave Dry Bulk Shipping ETF, guys, is trading at $5.53. This is the one-year chart you're looking at, and it is pretty much at its lows for the past one year. I expect this to have a good rebound going into 2024, and getting back somewhere around here should be close to eight, nine bucks. ETF number two, Breakwave Dry Bulk Shipping Industry, which I just showed you in the chart. This is the underlying cap size. 5TC index Panamax um, uh, measures rates of, uh, for shipping dry bulk freight. The expense ratio is a 3.5%. And the ETF number three, guys, is US Global Sea to Sky Cargo ETF, SEAC. The underlying US Global Sea to Sky Cargo Index tracks the performance of maritime shipping, air freight and courier, and the port and harbor opening company, operating companies. So this one has a more 
well diverse and overall from top to bottom companies involved in the entire from the beginning to the end shipping industry so that's pretty cool uh you know if you want to check this out and it yields also 17.13 percent annually so it's got a pretty good dividend so etf number three pretty cool all right guys so with that being said the overall conclusion to get to is that i believe that the shipping industry will rebound not just because the ceo vincent clerk said so but like i said there is there is a uh, emerging markets resilience in fact the emerging markets etfs are going to do well also that's another tip we have the north american strong uh, north american strong uh, prospects despite all the fears about a recession and all that now north america although going through an economic slowdown along with other major economies remains a promise for the shipping sector macroeconomic factors including russia's invasion of ukraine and tensions with china have disrupted the region's trade dynamics however these issues will normalize obviously you can't have this ukrainian war forever i think we're approaching we're approaching by next year the end of this war I, I just can't see it dragging any longer it just doesn't make any sense financially or in any way shape or form for either side but that's just my opinion with that being said guys i think that the shipping industry is going to do well i agree with with the ceo of marsh vincent clerk i agree with michael berry three months ago taking position in safe brokers and i agree with myself when i made a video over one year ago for safe brokers calling it a buy let me know in the comment section below what you think about the shipping industry and where it's headed in 2024 and i wish you guys all the best take care are you looking for a discord platform that offers a first class trading community that's what you can expect when you join bull market watch trading can be challenging for some people but we're here to simplify the process for you we have a very powerful track record. Our Discord deals with day trades, swing trades, and long-term trades. Hundreds of traders operate through our Discord, where we come up with stocks to trade for profits on the NASDAQ and in YSE. With a low monthly subscription of $9.90, you will have full access to our Discord, where you can interact with other traders and get all the latest news when it comes to trading as well. It's a community that is extremely supportive of one another and always willing to help each other out. Become a member of Bull Market Watch today and be on your way to a better financial situation.